Hello, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So, oh, this is an exciting day. We've got lots of vintage Jurassic Park figures, all series one. I was heavily inspired by a guy on YouTube called Jules Burt. If you haven't checked him out on YouTube, check him out. I'll put a link down below. Uh, but he went through his vintage Star Wars figure line and um, got them mounted on these little stands and checked the condition. And I thought, you know, that's really cool. And it's inspired me to do the same with my Jurassic Park vintage figures. So let's kick off this thing with Robert Muldoon. He was my first vintage Jurassic Park figure. And I think it's time we got this guy out of the bag and took a closer look. So we'll sweep these to the side and we'll get Robert out of his baggie. Now he comes with all of his accessories and uh, luckily he's got his backpack already put on. I think that's how I'd like to display him. And here is his mini dinosaur figurine. So let's start off by looking at Robert here. So here is Robert Muldoon. And uh, I have to say, he's in wonderful condition. I can't see many scrapes or scuffs to the paintwork. He looks really good. And um, his arms are quite nice and stiff. His arms and legs. So he's actually in really nice condition. Let's just have a look and assess him all over. And as you can see, he's got his uh, backpack accessory with the two types of rocket missiles. Yeah, he's in great condition. So he's going to look really nice on display. And uh, yeah, I'm really glad I picked this one up when I did. He comes with uh, the Bazooka missile launcher. Again, you know, pretty good. Fair to good, uh, looks mainly, maybe a little bit played with, or it could be just that the paintwork is uh, aging a bit, but that looks actually really good. So we put that in there, and yeah, that works lovely. So the spring mechanism still works. We can replace that one in his backpack. Does this one come out? What's going on with this one? Why is it stuck in there? Hmm. What's, what's the deal with that? Oh, it might be caught on this little strap at the bottom here. Let's see. See if we can negotiate this little strap on the back here. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so there's nothing to worry about there. That can go back through and sit proudly in his uh, in his backpack. Yeah, a really nice figure, this one. I remember getting this one. This was the first figure I got. And the reason why I got this Jurassic Park figure was because um, I wanted um, a Tyrannosaurus Rex figure and I couldn't afford the big red Rex. Uh, but he came with this. The baby T-Rex minifigure. And because it was such a cool looking little figure and it also sported the official JP logo, this for me was my first official Jurassic Park dinosaur toy. And for me, this, this, this was amazing. This, this did the job. I had a dinosaur. So the fact that I got, you know, Robert Muldoon with a rocket launcher and this baby Tyrannosaurus Rex, you know, was really exciting for me back in the day. And taking a look at his sculpt, he's got really nice sculpted details. He's got some sunglasses sculpted on there. They really did pack in a lot of detail on these figures. He's got a nice little sheathed knife on his leg there. Various holsters, got a holster for a gun. Looks like a, maybe a, an ammo pack or um, a radio satchel. Or maybe that's on the other side. He's got lots of little combat pockets all over him, even on the back of his backpack. He's got combat pockets, look, one, two, three. So he's got plenty of storage space. You know, it doesn't bear much likeness to the uh, the original actor, but um, pretty good overall. One of his arms here is quite um, sort of out to one side. I don't know if that's just a, a result of him kind of being set to one side and gravity's had its way over the years. But, you know, it doesn't it doesn't bother me too much. That's, he still looks pretty decent. 
and of course he sports the uh, the JP logo as well. They had these um, painted on faces. You can see it just got these kind of like painted on line with a dot, and that's how the eyes were done for the Jurassic Park line. Almost looks like a like a comic book version of the character. So you've got little but buttons on there as well. Nice sculpted details in the clothing. So yeah, very, very nice figure. And this was at a time in the 90s when action figures were really buff. <laughs> and it comes from the age of wrestling figures, really. So the, the late 80s uh, through the 90s, we had very buff looking action figures to kind of compete with the wrestling action figures of the time. So yeah. Right. So let's get one of these stands out of this bag. And these are ProTech vintage stands you can see there it's got the protec logo underneath and this is the vintage stand so it's a certain type of, of stand and um you'll see that we do actually have peg holes on the bottom of these figures but they appear quite large and i'm not sure if this is really going to support this figure but yeah and as i suspect he is actually very loose on there so what i think i'm going to do because I've invested in these stands now. There's no going back. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of blue tack in there. I don't know if you call it white tack in the States. Let me know what you call your blue tack. I'm quite interested, actually. I'm going to put that in there, in his foot. And then, that way, when I put him on the stand, hopefully he'll be a little bit more permanently wedged. There we go. And Let's see how he looks. He looks okay. Could be better. He's a bit biased to one side. Uh, but there we go. He does, he does stand up. What I might do is put a little bit on his other foot as well. Here we go on this heel. Hopefully that will mean he stands a bit better. How's that? Yeah, lovely. Look at that. And he's got his little minifigure dino which i absolutely love what i love about this little figure is that he's got like a matte finish almost like a semi-gloss finish and it just looks so classy what a classy little baby t-rex look at that lovely vein running along the tail there it looks so muscly and powerful it looks like it would actually be a threat to robert muldoon if it attacked him wonderful and then you've got the uh bazooka there so there we have it that is my quick look at my vintage robert muldoon loose and i think he's going to look beautiful alongside the other vintage jurassic park figures when they're done so stay tuned guys for more uh taking a closer look at these ones loose if you want to see them boxed i do have them boxed actually so here is my boxed version and uh, yeah, he's lovely and minty fresh. The bubble is yellowing a, a little bit, which concerns me. But at the same time, I think I'm very lucky to own something like this. And uh, the box really does take me back. This has got this German branding on here, but that doesn't deter me too much. Really nice to, to see this old box art. So yeah, that is my boxed version of uh, Robert Muldoon. But yeah, if you want to see a review of me taking a look at this guy in the box, I've actually done a, a past video on the channel just talking about my memories of this this particular figure. So if you want to see another one about Robert Muldoon, then uh, I'll put a link to that video down below as well. Sorry for the quality drop because it'll be an older video, but you'll be able to watch some more content on that particular figure. But as for the loose one, that's done for now. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. It was nice to take a close up look at this one and inspect his uh, his quality and uh, get him mounted on this Protec stand. So uh, that will look very nice on display uh, when I've got that done. So I will keep you updated on that. Okay, rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.